Welcome to Designer Co. on Coral. Lately, I've been trying to find little ways to add bursts of color to my mostly neutral home. These fun painted kitchen utensils are the perfect quick fix. For our painted kitchen utensil project, all you'll need is some pieces of cutlery. You might want to do the full set or you might want to just do some accent pieces, some serving utensils if you'd like, some all-purpose paints, and also some brushes. I used foam brushes because they added a very even look to the painting. For my utensils, I've decided to do my spoons in pink and my forks in orange. So all you need to do is take a little bit of your paint, squeeze it into a little tray or a plate, anything that you don't mind the paint staying on. Dab a little bit on your brush. So I'm gonna start at the handle and I'm just going to brush forward in a thin layer and sort of taper it off at the end so it creates an, op an ombre look. You're gonna wanna do three or four coats depending on the opacity that you like. So what I'm gonna do now is just switch over to my spoon, give this a bit of time to dry, and then go back and paint another coat. So again, we're gonna start at the handle, a little bit stronger at the base, and then sort of taper it off into an ombre effect as we get closer to the spoon part. It's a bad idea to paint this part of the spoon or fork. You don't wanna get this paint in your mouth. For your serving utensils, it's the same thing. You don't wanna get paint on the end of it. Anywhere that's going to be sort of dipped into the food, you don't wanna get paint on. So stick to the top of the handle. You'll want a little bit more paint for this one. The wood absorbs the paint a little bit more. So you definitely want it to be more opaque at the base of the handle. And as you get a little bit closer to the, this part of it, you want to just sort of have a lighter stroke to taper it off and create sort of a more ombre look. So about four coats of paint later, this is what they should look like, a little bit more opaque and a really nice burst of color. If your mom wouldn't be offended by receiving kitchen utensils as a gift, they would be perfect for Mother's Day. Another option is having them at your wedding. Why not put them at the head table or at all of the tables? Get your bridal party together and put them to work. Subscribe to Coral if you want to learn more about DIY home decor, DIY weddings, or if you want slightly less offensive Mother's Day gifts. Always a winner.